Hey guys, and welcome back. If you saw my last video, then you may not be so surprised by what I'm about to say right now. But basically, architects don't always come up with wholly original concepts. A lot of the times, they'll brace a concept on a pre-existing precedent or a case study. And today, I'm going to be talking about how the building behind me, the Mountain Dwellings by Bjork Ingels Group, was inspired by Jorn Utzen's Kingo houses, which was in turn inspired by the traditional Danish farmhouse. You may be wondering how something like this could ever be related to something like this. Well, never fear, I'm going to break it down for you. Danish farmhouses were usually L-shaped and had a courtyard space. They were often made with thatched roofs and half timber frame construction. You can see just about every type of regional Danish farmhouse at the Open Air Museum in Lyngby, and I really recommend it. They even have a seaweed house from Leisu, and this is where I conducted a lot of my research for the basis of my own project. Now, since so many of these farmhouse designs are so similar, I'm going to refer to them as a typology. In architecture or urban planning, a typology will usually be a way to define and classify a bunch of similar buildings, for example, based on how they look or what stylistic period they belong to. So, how did this Danish farmhouse typology become the inspiration for the Kingo houses? Well, Jorn Utzen adapted the L-shaped floor plan to be the basis for his new design. He also looked at Spanish and Chinese farmhouse designs and the inner atrium courtyard from Pompeii houses to create the final form. This is what led to the local Danish name Womohusene, meaning the Roman houses. What has made this project especially interesting was that you had 60 of these houses placed relatively closely together. The courtyard design allowed for an outdoor space that was walled in, so even though you were close to your neighbor, you would still have privacy. Now we come full circle back to the mountain dwellings. And I know it looks quite different than the previous homes, but the courtyard was directly inspired from the Kingo houses. And even though you have an overall shape that's different and the whole bottom tier is acting as a parking garage in this building, we're going to take a closer look at the individual apartments. Each apartment has a walled in yard space that allows for access to the outdoors, while still allowing for a bit of seclusion from your neighbors. So here you have an even denser development of homes in the Kingo houses, but still preserving that degree of privacy and nature. Psychologically speaking, we know that this access to nature is really good for us in an urban setting. Francis Kuo, who was the director of the Landscape and Human Health Laboratory at the University of Illinois, studied female residents' experiences in its Chicago housing project in the late 1990s. Apartments with access to trees and nature increase the women's abilities to concentrate or relax. This is why, to me, a good concept doesn't necessarily need to be far-flung and focused on total originality. A lot of successful architecture projects involve a lot of research on what is already out there and then fine-tuning it so that it fits as a solution. Maybe we can't quite recreate the quiet country experience in a densely populated city, but by being inspired by something like a farmhouse, we can create healthier cities.